So as I'm sitting up, uh, set up correcting your uh, motivation, uh, same, that may I achieve Buddha, uh, Buddhahood for sake of all beings. <clears throat> Therefore, I'm listening my today's teaching with the, my pure intentions. So that's not how we need to set it up. And then now um, the topic is um, actually the how to cultivate serenity. It has a two parts, the preparation and actual practice. So we finished the, uh, the preparation part. So the actual practice also has a, um, where is it? Uh, preparation we done right. Uh, meditative posture. Oh, do we finish meditative posture? Not yet, right? Okay. So and then also the um, uh, actual practice. Um, oh yeah, sorry. So actually, uh, in general, how to cultivate um, serenity? It's a uh, preconditions practice and then uh, actual practice and then um, the actual practice has also that um, mm, there's two parts the preparations and actual and now part of the preparations here uh, uh, we finish uh, the six uh, the six um, preparatory uh, practice or six preliminary practice uh, we on it and then within the six preliminary practice we finish um, the first three Sakusu, an The fourth it visualize the merit field. Um, the, the part of this practice, whatever you do, all this Lamrim practice from beginning the um, Guru devotion up to the and the Tantra practice, you uh, we must uh, visualize that merit field always at the uh, in front of us. Uh, so and then um, the visualizing merit field is the important part is here because this is the, the main part of accumulating merit and then purifying uh, obstacle. And then at the part of accumulating merit, the merit has a two parts, just merit and then wisdom merit. What is that what we just said? Wisdom merit? Merit and yeah, wisdom, wisdom merit, yeah. So as uh, accumulating these two. And then it's a field, the field is like a, that we grow everything on the field as same like a, all these merits we accumulated or or uh, cultivating with this, uh, the field, all this um, <coughs> uh, Buddhist, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. And one thing to let you know, we don't ha uh, we're not following um, the, um, all the line by line. We're still in the same line here says, 
the preparations, the practice, the six preparatory teaching explained above, and especially cultivate the spirit of enlightenment for a long time. Also, this line, we're still in this line, and then now we are talking six preparatory. Um, uh, the, if you really want to see the textbook, you can go back to the, the first volume. Uh, it's there, uh, all the six, uh, six preliminary practice. We are you know, talking on that. So the how to visualize the merit field, there are many instructed from different um, uh, uh, scripture. Uh, but here we have to go with the Lamim, uh, the instructed by Lamim. But before you visualize the merit field, it's good to purify your purified or blessing your place and also blessing the offering. So uh, it's in the Joshua uh, practice, which we done two times in the Sagabal time. So the, the, the blessing place is say all this, um, the dust are clear, uh, uh, and then all this uh, lands uh, as like a turn into the Binduria, um, as, as like this, that's how we need to let the bless the, uh, the place. And then also blessing offering that uh, I'm blessing the old offering, which is actual uh, offering or offering by visualizations, all this, uh, I'm going to, uh, that's all this offerings fill it up the, the space, some kind of line this, this which is uh, the blessing on uh, offering. Then also that um, you should recite the mantra that which is uh, multiply this all offering, which is like also quite long on number of something like that. So um, therefore it's good to uh, the uh, blast to place and offering before you visualize the merit field. Okay, um, after you blessing to place in uh, the offering and then um, the part of visualizing uh, Mary Phil, if you can, uh, you can follow the Lama Chippa prayer that the, you all this um, uh, inviting or generating Mary Phil based on um, union of bliss and emptiness. Uh, that's, if you could, you can do this. Uh, as follow the Lamashiva prayer. Uh, if you couldn't do that, then you just think that all this, um, uh, the huge uh, open field 
and then uh, the open clear field and on the field that has a wish fulfilling tree uh, the wish uh, wish wish fulfilling tree is also not that small it's like a vast and um, uh, uh, like a, it's vast so uh, like um, which you can all this uh, lineage lamas can the fill up there Okay, now um, uh, the how do uh, how to visualize the merit field with the uh, alumni means that it. So uh, the, the it, like you have a, a wish fulfilling tree which is you know, very vast, and in the center of the tree it has a throne which is has a, the line, and then on top of that. Uh, uh, Buddha Shakyamuni, 
uh, seated on that throne. And then as like a big shoes, um, the, where the saffron monks robes, and then also the, his, uh, the right hand is like a doing mutra, teaching, taking the teaching mutra and left hands as holding the uh, baking bowl with the fillet of the all these nectars. Uh, it is important to think that way. And then, uh, um, Okay, and then the Buddha Shakyamuni's and the uh, or the Buddha Shakyamuni's heart has to be um, visualized that um, Vajradhara, uh, um, the, which has a some uh, the, the like a blue color, and then in the the heart of the Vajradhara, thing is the the Hum Dua, and then Hum letters that's the had to visualize. So then from um, the, the Buddha Shakyamuni's um, um, Okay, Okay, so now um, that uh, visualize that, and then from Buddha's heart, um, that uh, comes the light, and then it goes to the uh, his right hand, and then all this uh, the lineage, lamas of um, Vesdit lineage, um, the the top, the very center is the Maitreya Buddha, and then uh, the Maitreya Buddha it's sounding by uh, Asanga or Vasubandhu and all these other vested lineage lamas sounded by it. And then again, his uh, Buddha's heart comes, light rays, and then it uh, goes to the, his left hand. And then his left hand also has like, a, they are profound, the, um, the, the profound lineage lamas are there. At the very center of Manjushri, and then Nagarjuna, and then Chandrakirti, the Buddha Palida, all these, uh, the Lenish Lama is sounding, uh, sounded it to the Manjushri. And then it's the back side um, that all these uh, Lenish Lamas of uh, blessing, that top of there you have to think very central, uh, you can think the Vajradhara and then all these Lenish Lamas in there. And then uh, his, um, the, that Vajradhara is right uh, and left they have a um, the, the lineage lamas of um, the Yidam JDS uh, of uh, Chagrasambhava, Sabguya Samaja, and Yamitaka, and so others, all these lineage lamas in uh, his behind there. And then he's very in front of the, um, um, like uh, that merit field. So you can also, that very center, you, you can visualize your root lama in there. And the root lama also that's surrounded by all other who, who um, whoever is your lama is there, which is surrounded by all these two comes together. And then the lamas are who lamas are passed away, then there the cushions you have to more lotus cushions, and then lama is still is still alive or present, then the cushion is you think more like a, a, a cushion, what called? Not the lotus, um, not the lotus cushion. It's like a, uh, which we sit, the, what do you call it? Normal cushion. <laughs> normal cushion, okay. Yeah, it's normal cushion. So that, uh, you know, I'm repeating one more time. The, uh, when you visualize the, all this Lama, uh, the in front of the, um, the, the main Buddhas, um, then the Lama who is passed away, that, they are sitting on the lotus uh, cushion. Lama who is alive, they are sitting on the normal cushions. So that, yeah, you can think meditation cushion, yeah. So that's, the right hand again? that's how you have to think. 
So the right hand lama is the, all this vested lineage lama. The vested lineage lama main one is Maitreya Buddha and then Asanga, Vasubandhu and all these like uh, um, Dharma Kirti, all these uh, other lineage lamas are there. So these are, uh, and then um, the in front of, like uh, below that, uh, you are root lama and surrounded by all other lamas. And then below there, you can visualize all these uh, deities, uh, the high yoga tantra deities, as like a Kala Chakra and Hevajra, uh, Yamendaga, Vajrayogini, Kuya Samaja, Chakra Samba, all these lineage, um, the deities are there. And then below that, uh, all these like uh, um, um, yoga tantras, uh, Yoga Tantras uh, deities are there. And then below there's action, uh, perform, uh, a performing, a performing Tantras deities. And then below there action Tantras deities. And then after the action Tantra deities, you can visualize all this, um, the, <clears throat> the seven, uh, eight medicine Buddha or seven medicine Buddha, uh, or you know, like a 35, um, the compassion, uh, like a confection of 35 what called? 35 confession Buddha. Confession Buddha and all these uh, thousand Buddhas are in below there, and the below that uh, the Buddhas uh, you can visualize all these Bodhisattvas, uh, such as like uh, eight um, closer Bodhisattva and other Bodhisattva. All Bodhisattvas are uh, sitting on that, and below there, um, um, uh, all these uh, Daginis, right? Dagi Daginis are uh, no. Um, Oh, okay, now below there, uh, all these um, uh, solitary realizations uh, practitioners, all these uh, lamas are there. And then below there, all the uh, saraga, uh, uh, the like uh, uh, actually uh, here listener practitioners, all these lineage lamas are there. And below there are Dagenis and Dages, all these are there. And then below there, all these uh, protectors are um, that sounded sound it. So this is how we have to visualize a uh, matter field. And then uh, if you couldn't do this all like a detail, um, as uh, last time I said it, at least you can visualize five guru in the, in the uh, wish fulfilled trees. Is there a diagram somewhere, a drawing somewhere that I can... We have a picture in the Lamim, like you can see it. You have a names? picture. Yeah, you can see the picture and then it exactly how to visualize that. Thank you. 
macerinin onu dili çuzo çuranki en çuzo çire en tedavi onu ya çuzo çire o çite gibi amacı onu size akına ya onu ya amacı amacı macerin o sözü son doğrusu And uh, I forget to translate before that, uh, also that after you visualize all this, um, the Melfield uh, Buddha and Bodhisattva deities uh, visualize in front of you, they are looking for you very uh, um, like a happily. It's not just you did something wrong and looking at like a, some kind of stranger, not like that. As you are visualized and you are, as you are practicing, that all are looking to you very happily. And then also you are uh, looking to all these, um, the holy beings as with your strong devotions. Uh, that's how you have think and feel. And also, um, um, once you visualize all these uh, Buddha and Bodhisattvas may feel in front of you, also you can think just in front of you. Now, I think, I think like Kishila didn't mention in the merit field, They mentioned it like uh, their their textbook. Their all these lineage lamas has also their talk. They teach many um, different. So whatever they teach, you visualize their all these teachings are on uh, um, the textbook, and it's also it's in front of uh, you. Uh, it would be good that and complete all this Buddha Dhamma Sangha uh, that uh, makes the merit field, and then um, uh, then after that we have to. Um, do seven limb practice. So, but before you do seven, seven limb practice, it's good to do like a, um, the bath offering, as we said. Actually, we are not bathing directly to all these Buddha and Bodhisattva. Uh, they don't have to bath, they don't have to cleanse this, they are already cleansed. But as like a, we are, as we are who are meditator or who are practicing, practitioner, um, when we practice, uh, we have to be cleans our minds, cleans our body, and it has to be fresh. If you do this bath offering practice, also may help you that kind of uh, things, makes you more clear uh, and then cleans to think. Um, uh, so therefore, uh, do a bath offering practice uh, as um, the six preliminary practice said it. So um, therefore, what I'm thinking is, Now, we never did this uh, preliminary practice before, at least we set at our time. So we're going to do one of Tuesday, one of the month, every month, uh, do one Tuesday doing this six preliminary practice. It is important that if we do the actual practice, this is much better than teaching you to do how to do it. So we're doing it or you should participate us uh, do more more chanting and prayer not just chanting and prayer at the same time we are many things visualizing and then also we reciting all this lineage lama's name when we do the six preliminary practice that we call chorcha right chorcha uh, i will set it up with the gloria to the one of tuesday like a, each one time in a month once in a month Uh, to use one of Tuesday, this is our Lamim teaching class. So therefore we do six preliminary practice, uh, the one of the Tuesday class. Okay, so that's how Gishala said it. Yeah, before you do seven limb practice, do bath offering practice, yeah. <laughs> Chow, 
So after that, we uh, the perform the seven limb worship or seven limb practice, which is uh, we call Sarjangi uh, Neduba. Sarjangi Neduba means like a, it's a collecting essence practice of uh, purif purification and accumulating merit. This is the essence, collecting all this essence practice of the accumulating merit and the purifying obstacle. So uh, once obstacle, so therefore, um, 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 seven limb, the, the, like sometimes we say seven limb practice here, which refers to the uh, sutra, and also uh, the, when it refers to tantra, we have a um, the uh, seven um, uh, pure seven pure uh, like a seven um, um, purity practice, something like that. Do you know that? Like a okay. So now what are the seven limb practice as like a, um, uh, the, say it like a prostration and uh, offering uh, the confessions um, and uh, rejoicing and then uh, requesting to turn the Dharma will or teaching the Dharma or uh, um, also uh, requesting to having long life and then also uh, dedication prayer. So as they are the very essence collecting practice of all this accumulating merit and purification obstacle, therefore uh, I'm going to briefly uh, trust one by one this seven limb practice. <laughs> And it's chance, send you some dinosaurs of the union and the Tommy Tun and the Charles in the Bachelor. What did the Chevina and the Jesuit Tabo to be a bit of a river? That you will be Charles Seva de la Manado, that young Jan of Jasmine, that me, and the paper Tanja Puna, the tea, that are Tuna, and the tea, 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 and the And then uh, within seven limb uh, worship or practice, the first one is uh, the limb of uh, limb practice of uh, prostration. And then uh, prostration actually the prostrate by uh, body, speech, mind. And then uh, also the prostrate by body has a, like a two type uh, or sometimes three type. So it's a, like a fully lying body down uh, on the ground or you are, this is one of the, uh, the, the body uh, prostrations. And another type of body positions, you are the five um, uh, five points are touching on the ground, which are the two knee and two hands, and your forehead is touching on the ground. This is the uh, another type of prostration, and another type of prostration is which is like a Chinese and Vietnamese practitioner are doing. They were sitting down and just um, the forehead touching the ground three times. So all these. Uh, mentioned in uh, the Buddha Sutra, actually, especially in uh, yeah, the Vinayana Sutra. So um, this is the, uh, the how you have to do um, the prostration by body, and then also that cleans your negative karma, which is created by body. And then um, how you do prostration by your mental um, um, mind, so that 
in front of you, you already visualized this, all the merit field, and then you did like a body procession to them, and also thinking their qualities, uh, all, all these lineage lamas one by one, and developing your faith, uh, uh, and then uh, like inspiring to you uh, that uh, once you're achieving that kind of uh, lineage lamas, uh, um, what called uh, a position. Yeah, and, and actually that you, you are trying to achieve as like them. Uh, that kind of, all you're thinking of this are the, you're doing uh, the prostration by mental or mind. And then verbally prostration is you are reciting uh, their, uh, like a, the, the, which is the pressing to all these lineage lamas and then reciting their name by mantra. All these are, um, you are doing prostration by verbally. So therefore, do prostration through by all this body of mind will be the good. Okay, now the next is part of the uh, offering, the practice, uh, the uh, practicing of offering. So offering also they are uh, like a divided two. Uh, they also they have two type two two type where they divide it. Uh, Sometimes we say um, the off you are offering things that which is has uh, um, uh, has honor, and or you are offering things that you do not have honors. Or another way to say. They are offering of uh, Lana Yopa. Can you look at the dictionary? What does mean Lana Yopa in English? Or Lana Meba? I think it's a. Is it spelled the way it's pronounced? It is not above or someone uh, like. Um, what is it? It's, it's spelled the way it sounds. Baladala. Baladala na. And then you. I couldn't find in my dictionary. No, I found it Yeah. Okay. I think la, let's explain what is mean Lana Yoba and Lana Meba. Lana Meba means like a uh, no one above, nothing above the practice, like a which is like a 
um, the offering things are uh, the uh, ultimate, 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 not really ultimate. There are different ways to say it. Also, it's Lana Meva is nothing above it, and Lana Yoga is above it. Or um, you can say regular offering or irregular, irregular offering. Geshela, um, Lana Mepa is unexcelled, like we usually translate as unexcelled. And Lana Yoba? Excel, right? Uh, well, Lana it's, Yoba? Just, it's just regular, I guess, right? Okay. Yeah, regular offering and unexcel uh, offering, there's two, two types. And regular offering is that which we offering flower, incense, and uh, the, uh, the battle lamb, all this uh, candle which is like uh, you are offering to all these lineage lamas five cents um, uh, uh, this is the, uh, the regular offering. And then, um, which is like an Excel, what's that she said? Lana Meva. Unexcel, it's like normally you say Excel. Unexcel, right? Unexcel? Unexcel, okay. Lana Meva offering is the uh, Unexcel offering. Unexcel offering is that you are all these virtues, merit are, uh, you visualizing that uh, your virtues and merit are turned into the, um, thus each uh, offering as like a turn into the flower and like uh, all this, uh, the foods, canto, incense, then you're offering it. This is like a offering of uh, an excellent. <coughs> So 
So then next, the practice of uh, confession. A compassion practice um, has to be um, uh, the, the connected with the four powers. And then the first power is uh, the regret that you have to have strong regret, which you've done all this downfall uh, this lifetime. And also you can visualize all other lifetimes, how many you've done, many lifetimes. All this, remember it, then build, uh, have strongly regret on that. Because uh, if you, um, so if I not purified, if I keep this, all this negative karma from since beginning less, then only I will have a suffering, only it gives me the uh, lower arms, rebirth, all these sufferings comes, right? Thinking that and then help you to have strong uh, regret. So this is the, the it's important part. And then second, it's also not just having regret, it's also taking commitment that say, I will never do again this downfall uh, forever. So this is taking commitment and has to be these two <clears throat> are important. And then also doing purification practice based on um, the refuge and bodhicitta. And that's uh, uh, also that. And then the part of the um, antidote, the power of antidote, so that you can do different actions, like I say, um, you, because we have to purify it, um, all this negative karma, which is curated by body, then it has to be something purified by body. And also we have to be uh, purified that uh, negative karma accumulated um, by um, the mind and speech. So it has to be purified each um, uh, separately body, speech, mind. So therefore, when you apply the antidote based on that regret, commitment, and basis, then you can do prostration and then circular, circular accumulating, circular, circular accumulating, circle, circling, circling, circumambling, and then um, <laughs> circle ambling, and then sometime also you, when you do meditate, uh, having like a, some kind of hard time with your body. This is also, you can think you're purifying your, um, the, the negative karma, which is created by body. And then um, the apply antidote for purifying your negative karma created by uh, speech, and you are recite more sutra, and then also there's many different type of mantras, and also the reciting and chanting there are many Complimenting and priest to all this Buddha and Bodhisattva. Uh, these are uh, also, uh, this is the one I ended up. And then also, uh, you are uh, purif apply antidote for purifying um, negative karma, which is created in mind that you um, have to think, as earlier said, it that build it more faith and devotions and think with all quality of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. So, uh, these are the, um, separately you are uh, applying antidote for purifying each uh, different negative karma, which is created by a different door, different way. And then, uh, um, which I forget the last one. Oh, okay, okay. And then once you apply this all uh, for power, when you do perfect, the purification practice, then it's uh, impossible that um, it's not purifying. It uh, must be purified when you do with this four power. For example, as like uh, Ajat Shastri, uh, Ajat King Ajati, uh, Ajat Shastra, uh, Shastri, yeah, he killed his father. Um, it is actually um, the very heaviest negative karma, which we call immediate, uh, uninterrupted. Um, karma, right? Immediate retribution. Immediate retribution, so yeah. The retribution karma, which is killing father and mother and our heart. So even you, uh, it, uh, like, uh, created that kind of negative, heavier negative karma, it's all purified in this his lifetime. And then he, um, uh, he couldn't fail, fall in um, the hell realms by this uh, negative karma because it's purified. And then also uh, Angulimala killed this 999 people, even Angulimala do practice and achieve arhat in his lifetime. 
So therefore, that uh, the negative karma or or like a, a non virtuous action has a one good quality is that can be purified. <coughs> therefore, um, uh, even you are having like a immediate vision karma, it can be purified. Therefore, it's um, impossible when you apply all this four power properly with your perfection practice, then it's impossible to unpurify it. So now next, uh, talking about the rejoicing practice. Rejoicing is rejoice to your uh, past virtue and present virtue and future virtue. Not only that, you can rejoice to also other uh, who accumulate many virtues. And also you can rejoice to all these lineage lamas who is in front of you. They are each has a good quality and uh, some are completely accumulated <coughs> merit and some are the, like a high level achieved uh, and then huge accumulated merit. All this merit you can rejoice to them. As you rejoice to them, you will also uh, accumulate merit. As Lama Tsongkhapa said in his, uh, uh, his own biography, uh, short biography said, <coughs> um, Dr. Dilema, how is the name? Uh, it, it doesn't matter. <coughs> what, what he said is like a uh, rejoicing to other is effortlessly accumulating merit, like huge merit. Uh, therefore, um, we should rejoice to other and we should rejoice to our own practice. That's uh, said in his short uh, biography. And same way, if we are every time rejoicing to your own merit, own virtues, which is the past and future, uh, future present, and also uh, virtues of other, that much you are accumulating merit without any effort. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then next is practicing, requesting to uh, training, uh, teaching Dharma. Uh, so this practice is um, also um, to help you to never being separate from uh, Dharma, uh, the, even like many lifetimes. Um, so this is good to do this kind of practice uh, to requesting to. Um, teaching <laughs> So, 
The sixth practice of seven limb practice. Uh, <clears throat> so sixth one is um, requesting having long life. Um, so this practice is like a, a, when you engage this practice, you will uh, also purify that uh, your negative karma uh, created with the your lama. Sometimes you are um, like a disrespect to lama, and then also. Uh, uh, not having faith, uh, and then also not listening as well, and then um, uh, disturbing the Lama's mind. These all are created negative karma. That when you do like a requesting to having long life, this is uh, purifying this all negative karma. And then actually, in general, the all the Buddha and uh, Buddhas are actually uh, they are nev never like uh, passing away or not li really. Uh, and then the, the, uh, having part in Nirvana. But as we, um, as they are pretending as like a um, part in Nirvana or passing away, therefore we have to be requested to them to uh, have a long life. For example, Buddha Shakyamuni, um, in his lifetime, uh, uh, Ananda should be requested to the Buddha um, having long life. So Buddha hints, gives to hints, like say, I can have long life even if Buddha gives to him that he not pay attention, therefore he not recurs to Buddha to live long life. So therefore Buddha is only having life in the 80, 80 or 81 something. So, and then same time the another, the Maras are came to Buddha and they recurs to Buddha, please uh, pass the hour soon or faster. So before Ananda requested, and Buddha already accepted that with the Maras are requested. So therefore, uh, the requesting is also that, uh, the requesting long life practice is also a good period, yeah. <laughs> So additionally, that practice, which is requesting to having long life, if you do this practice, also you are having, um, you are like actually um, generating your life longer, or you are uh, you increasing your life, because uh, said it said in um, in text, uh, if you do this practice, this is the best way to increase your life, uh, to request to Lama to have long life is best way to increase your life. Increasing your life, therefore, it's good to do this Thank you. 
The last, <clears throat> the last practice of seven limb practice, which is dedication, uh, practice of dedication. Uh, the your uh, dedication practice is like a, um, it's a never uh, decrease or extinguish your virtues, never decrease your virtues, uh, or never eliminate your virtues. Um, so therefore, if you not do dedications, as uh, Chandidewa said in Bodhisattva Uchaitra, uh, so if you um, uh, not dedicate that, then, uh, oh yeah, it says one angry can be destroyed like um, the merit which is accumulated by thousand eons. <clears throat> so therefore, um, it's before you having anger, before anger destroy you all these virtues, you imitate or you um, as soon to dedicate um, uh, virtues um, as you accumulate it. Uh, so therefore, it is good to uh, do this. And also, um, if, if, if you dedicate it, they are never uh, eliminated. After you dedicate it, the virtues never accumulated, uh, uh, eliminated or uh, decreasing. As uh, Sutra says, like uh, once you are, um, uh, okay. So once you having like one drop of water in the oceans, it will remaining until the oceans dry. Uh, same as like a, if you are virtuous are dedicating for all sentient beings, then it's remaining until you are uh, like a, enlightened for all sentient beings. Therefore, it does, after your virtues dedicated, never decreases, that's another benefit. And therefore, the dedication practice is also one of the important part. Usually, when we, whatever we do activities, Dharma activities, at the beginning, setting up intentions, and the, at the end, dedication and prayers are important. So therefore, um, you should think this, um, as you think the dedication is important, then dedicate all this uh, merit um, immediate or as soon before you destroy it. <laughs>
Tanti mi dice che sono tante che hanno detto che poi non puoi dire ma sta facendo la città, ma non c'è un tipo di voce, 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 ma non c'è So the Y7 in practice is like a, a, the collector of all essence of practice because the, all this, uh, the practice are uh, combined into either accumulated merit or uh, purified uh, obscurations, right? So, and then <clears throat> when you look at the seven practice, the part of the confection is like purifying all the obscurations and also not that each uh, seven in practice are purifying um, like each like uh, mental afflictions, such as like uh, doing prostration is reducing or eliminating your uh, uh, like a pride or ego because um, because prostration is you are really uh, respecting to other through by all this your body speech mind then you will not think that I am the best because you are respecting to other so therefore uh, you, this is the uh, help you to uh, eliminate this pride ego and also the offering is uh, the help you to eliminate or reduce that stinginess or miserliness uh, miserliness miserliness okay stinginess so because the stinginess is you are grasping in all this um, the material or whatever you things are then offering is like a releasing that kind of grasping. Uh, therefore, uh, it's a help that. And then next, like a confession is like a mainly, uh, uh, like a, you are eliminating ignorance. Actually, uh, in general, actually uh, eliminating all these uh, three poisons, uh, the attachment, evolutions, and ignorance. But the point is main uh, ignorance that you are uh, eliminating. And then next rejoicing is you are uh, also uh, reducing or eliminating that uh, jealousy, uh, jealousy to others. So the jealousy mind is that you are having uncomfortable when you see that some kind of having excellent to others, um, therefore you are impatient with it. So therefore uh, rejoicing is like a help you to like a release that impatience when you see the other one have an excellent things. And then um, next, like a, a requesting uh, the, like a Dharma teaching is also purifying <coughs> um, all this like a negative karma, which is uh, um, created with the Lama and also not created with the Dharma because uh, we have like a, a Sometimes we are judging Dharma, the Hinayana is bad, look good, or like Mahayana is bad, or Mahayana is good, Hinayana is bad. And also like uh, you're judging like other religious uh, saying good and bad with your um, uh, the mental afflictions. And also that uh, sometimes we are uh, like a... Uh, uh, 
And then next is like a um, next practice is um, requesting having long life as you, as Ali has said it all to purify your negative create a negative karma with uh, your Lama and Guru such as like you are criticizing or blaming and then disturbing mind all this all we already mentioned it and then next um, uh, dedication is also eliminating or reducing your uh, wrong views your wrong view uh, uh, so these are yeah not just purified that negative karma is also purified all <coughs> all this uh, cause of negative karma because of the ultimate afflictions and then beside the compassion practice all other practice are practicing that accumulating all this uh, huge merit so therefore it's a very combined it, all this essence of practice within this uh, uh, seven limb practice. And then also the previous, all these uh, Buddha and Bodhisattvas and higher Lama, higher realizations are, went through by do this preliminary practice. It's constantly, always, <clears throat> but they are not think that preliminary practice as like a preliminary, therefore when I achieve high level that I don't have to do, not think that. They are, they are also didn't do that sometime do or some not do. They, they, they think this practice is the part of very important practice. Therefore, they always do whatever they engage other practice. They do first beginning, they all the seven in practice. So therefore, we should follow and we should think as how much is important and try best. <laughs> So um, then it's still the part of the um, seven in practice. It's um, doing, after seven in practice, you are doing the mandala offering practice. Um, the, the mandala offering practice is actually part of the offering practice within seven in practice. Um, but the difference is here, we're doing mandala offering for not just purifying, it's taking blessing from all this merit field. So uh, then mandala, uh, there are two types, the extensive one and then uh, the um, uh, short or brief one. So 
the extensive one has uh, 37 heaps uh, as like uh, in the middle in the mound mule and then mound mule is run by um, like a four directions has a four continent or four continents or yeah, continents. continents and then uh, and also the the, <clears throat> the eight some uh, um, the and then also uh, the uh, at all species, uh, and then all, all this like a uh, eight different type of uh, um, darkenies uh, and uh, sun and moon, and always uh, <clears throat> um, that's counted as a 30, 37 heaps that put it all together, and then you are offering. Um, then it's not also things that are just small as like you are mentalized small you have to visualize it's very really huge and vast that you are offering all 37 hips. And then uh, if you couldn't do that, sometimes you can do seven hips with uh, um, four continents and mound mule and then sun and moon. Um, that's also uh, part of the mental offering. And the way to do mental offering is you uh, hold it that mandala, uh, the ground, uh, which is say like a, a but you cannot hold it as like an empty hand. You have to put a little bit rice in or whatever you're offering, like a, or at a, your left hand, and then hold this mandala on top of that. And then your uh, right hands uh, put the little bit rice and you are doing like a cleaning, the, like a uh, clock weight three times. Once you do clock weight three times, you are purifying uh, all this body, speech, mind, negative karma. And then uh, again, pause and you do like a, uh, circling like a, a reverse, uh, then it's like a, you are taking blessing from body, speech, mind, or good at all this good surplus. And after that, you pour and then you build it up all these 37 heaps or seven heaps on top of that. So this is, uh, and then at the end, when you're offering mandala, you visualize you um, uh, give me or bless me. Uh, or like uh, uh, give me all this like a uh, common and uncommon CDs and all this uh, uh, the blessing for me and um, there too sometime you can see the mandala offering is due before seven limb practice but here you see the mandala offering after seven limb practice this is it has a different meaning uh, but sometimes you do it before sometimes you do after us yeah
şöyle bir tefek oturuyorsun, içine bu sosuna şu gibi başını. Hani hep yavaş yavaş yapıyorsun. Sen burada tüce tefek ayı. Hani o sebebiyle susun üstte bak. Hatta güda çiğniyor sosuna sen susun bir şey yutur ha. Tedavi uzun bir şey yok. Değil mi? Bir şey yutur ha. 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 Şey yutur Çoğu işte sonra çoğu yana, hatta o bakıya yaradı, ben tez olma var ya, ısınma da var ya, bir tane daha açı komutanını var, çiğe, tövbe, lama, çiğe, müdür, çiğe, bir tane şiğe, bir tane şiğe, çiğe, müdür. O da bak çoğu yöntü sosu, ben çiğe olup sosu, ki çoğu yöntü, 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 o tiyatro çıkan bir çadır resmi bir cumbula, ha cumbu şey çok iyi, tavan da da çok şey yana, tiyatro çok iyi, çok iyi resmi bir cumbula. So and then now the last, the sixth, the preliminary practice, it's called infuse your mind with the attitude of supplications according to instruction. So supplication according to instruction, that when you do that, so. You are taking all this um, blessing ball in front of Merfio and also that visualizing you are attending, attended all these realizations or you achieve all these uh, high, high qualities. So, um, uh, so it says, um, uh, Dünya tanki kralı rımba şey diyor, dünya diye rımba diye şey. Kasa... Soşin. Soşin ile set up, yani çoşu dönü, uduşu da, çik çiş, ondan o çoşu dönü şey. Tim acuna yüzü vereceğin şey, hani bir tane... Kusur, çimura pebaçı. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I forget that. So it's like supplication according to instructions. Supplications, attitude of supplications. So... To um, to all this uh, the in front of uh, all this metal field, and therefore you um, you it's like sometimes we are not comfortable to directly <coughs> to supplicate uh, to all this men Islama. So therefore, what we're doing is it's good to do that. Uh, the in front of metal field, you also root lama is there, and then second, uh, the root lama is still there, but you can imagine that. Um, that's the uh, that second uh, secondary one of secondary root lamas camps as the same root lama, but it can like eliminate it, right? Secondary root lama, root lamas camps in um, sit on your crown to face to the merit field, and then the root lamas are uh, substituting or representative of yourself or all our, uh, the <clears throat> all of us to to requesting. To, or supplicating to this um, the metaphor to blessing us or give us this all uh, realization things. That's the how you need to do it. And then if you could do with the um, like a six preliminary practice prayer, it has all this lineage lamas name, and then each time we do supplicate it, supplicate it, supplicate it. So um, then each. The each four line, there are like a three mentioning three lamas name and then at the same supplicated or <clears throat> then other legs. Each time we're repeating two times that supplicating line, the fourth one. The first time when we repeat it, we are inviting this all um so the whole of the social chain. Tak lama ni bercik, sekarang saya ia sonda bercik tu, kalau susu kotor ni ia sure. Tiga lama ni tak ada lama. Tiga lama tim korang ber, tak kosong tim malam ni dia boleh. Tiga lama ni bercik, tiga lama ni bercik. Tiga lama ni bercik, tiga lama tim korang kacau. Tiga lama ni bercik, tiga lama tim korang kacau. Tiga lama ni bercik, tiga lama tim korang kacau. Tiga lama ni bercik, tiga lama tim korang kacau. Tiga lama ni bercik, tiga lama tim korang kacau. Tiga lama ni bercik, tiga lama tim korang kacau.
یعنی پینتینگ این دیگه 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 شروع موجود شده این روحات را تو سبیل من اکسی باشه خمات را تو سبیل من اکسی باشه Lamadi, <laughs> <laughs> So, <clears throat> and then when you do like a uh, six plenary uh, practice prayer, uh, there are like uh, the, lim- the prayer for the type of the, uh, the, the section they're praying, the Limit Lamas, and then each time we do Sabiket, Sabiket. So, repeating three, two times that fourth line. And then uh, the first time, when you said the first time Sabiket Lama to me, that means like uh, you are inviting. Whoever you recite the name, that lamas comes to your town, and and then second time, and then you are thinking, you having that kind of, uh, uh, you receive the all blessing and realizations. That's the if you can, you could do that with the uh, six uh, preliminary practice prayer. Even you cannot do it, but at least you can do that. Um, the, all this lineage lama. But your root lama is already in top of your account because it's a uh, representative uh, to yourself to requesting your own uh, marriage field, right? And then um, that like uh, all the other lineage lamas, include your root lama is also there. Uh, you are taking that when you recite for the first center, you are not taking all this like blessing together. You can just do one one by one. So first you can take the blessing from um, the central one, which is the uh, Buddha Shakyamuni, and then taking nectars and cleanses your, pur- purify all this negative karma, and then receiving that all realizations, and then go with the uh, rested lineage lama, and then go with the profound did lineage lamas, and go with the blessing lineage lama, and then all this goes with the deities and then four the four tantras uh, different type of deities and then buddha and solitary all this one go one by one and you take blessing so that um that and then also it's important to sub, do this way because um um so uh, when you do that there are no doubt that you are receiving realization things so uh because uh, sometimes we say that I'm doing long term practice, but I didn't see Lama, I didn't see uh, deities, I didn't see Buddha, and this, all this. Because we are uh, not complete um, the, all the practice, or we are not doing the practice properly, or especially we are not really uh, engaging that uh, preliminary practice. Are. If you do all this, pl- include the preliminary practice and actual practice properly, orderly, then there are no doubt to seize all these um, uh, uh, Buddha and Bodhisattvas, and there are no doubt to receiving that all realizations things are. Yeah. And then uh, we, f- we finish briefly our six preliminary practice. Now we'll take a question. Okay. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> this is Gloria. Mm-hmm. Hi, um, I missed the first few moments when you were mentioning that once a month we may do something. Was this to say that after we've gone through this today that we, you may actually help guide us through this as a, as a so part of teaching? Prayer. We did it. We did it Sagadawa time, two time. I know. Time we don't have an English translation. We didn't see show that. Second time we showed the English translation. And we did it that kind of prayer uh, practice we're doing once a month. What we just went through now? No, 
We just explain okay. it. This is we yeah. explain it. So let me let me ask another question. Would it be of any benefit um, to to guide us through that, like you know, like a guided meditation to go through what we just went through? Or are you suggesting that we we no, really study it? Let's see. Let's see. Um, if you know well, very well about that that preliminary prayer, then you will see what you have to say. Um, maybe few time we just do prayer. Okay. And then it is already guided there, and then still you feel you need to be more guided. Then we can do it. Okay. In Geshe, just to double check, I I think I mentioned that Friday I couldn't make it, and you recorded it. Is it on YouTube yet, or do uh, we know? The Friday, uh, like a, um, this 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 prayer, okay. Joshua. Oh, necklace, necklace. La. Did he answer, Geshla? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. Uh, yeah, we do have the recording, but it's very huge. I do, you sent to me. I asked you if you wanted me to reduce it so I can reduce it. Let me see if I still yeah. have the video. Yeah, really yeah. Want to okay. Okay. Yeah, because I was going to recite it uh, after. So uh, YouTube, so we can take it offline, Chappelle. Whatever you can do would be appreciated. Okay, I have, uh, I have, I have the video. Okay, thank you so much. I was wondering when we're trying to find, um, do the antidote for if you have, or confessing something in your mind, you just said build faith. Um, what could you please expand on what you should do exactly? What's that? If you have to commit a physical action, but you think some kind of a negative kind of thought in the world. Then what antidote for that? Into... Oh, yeah, the Gishila said for doing prostration and circular ablations are for body, and then you are thinking um like uh, all these buddha's quality and having devotion build, build, like increasing your faith are the antidote for um the mind yeah but you do it for like two minutes or like half an hour or you say something exactly is, is there something no. i don't remember <laughs> i don't remember it did, did i say half an hour not not really Yeah, actually, that uh, which you created by mind, then uh, the antidote for it is as yes, uh, developing your uh, faith and devoting and then thinking all the Buddha's qualities and so on and so on. So, the definition of a root Lama is somebody that we get teachings directly from. What's that? The definition of a root Lama. Uh -huh. A root lama is someone that we get teachings from directly. What's a root lama? Ale, tangi tiwan zu mixe di mare, tiwan zu di mare, tiwan zu chidang chido. Tando kung tiwan di zawe lama lana kades lao desa. Ale, zawe lama sinu, tachi lama iba chino mare es susu la susu la kasa susu la tiwan zawe lama chino mare es. Kena wang lama. I'm 
Okay, um, the root guru is like a, actually a um, general um, defined that, uh, which is, has a three, three type of kinds to you. Uh, every guru are not the root guru and also the not that root guru for others is not necessarily your root guru because individually has a different root guru. So therefore root guru has to be um, three different kinds, kindness. Uh, like say refers to tantra, which is giving you initiations, instructed, and blessings. Are the refers to tantra, which is three kindness. Refers to the sutra, which is teaching you an instructed practice, and also lava che what's your name lava and then give you give you oral uh, oral transmissions. These are the um, three three kinds of uh, it refers to the sutra that you can consider as your root guru. So, so, tantra initiation, sutra transmission. What? Let's say it's tantra first. Yeah. Three kindness refers to tantra. Leave it there. Tantra, giving you initiation, instructed, lesson. Okay. Now, sutra, right. uh, teaching you instructed practice, and then giving you instruction, uh, oral instructions. Or oral transmissions. What, what oral transmission? Oral <coughs> transmissions, we're reading then. Um, lung, What's the difference between instruction and transmission? Lung Boba Ladi da, because that's a chi there when you put a cabal for your stream. Lung Boba Ladi, so instruction is explaining with the details and then transmission is just read it just read it and then it has to be that lama of like a, some kind of continuing lineage and blessing then it's transmit transmission to others just reading it so that kind of like a uh, also we talk um the uh, for example let's say um if if someone wrote the new book today and then they're just reading that new book to the people uh, that uh, also uh, what they know exactly what is really their thoughts are uh, instructed or like a, who wrote the book so same way that we are just reading that uh, as example Lamrim, then it's kind of like a oral transmission that um, one thing is you are uh, uh, understanding exactly what is the Lama Tsongkhapa thought and then another thing you are receiving, uh, receiving blessing and another thing is that in the future when you are if, if you if, uh, like uh, achieve that accumulation path then you remember everything that you receive oral transmissions that's the reason we're giving oral transmission I think yeah so, so the Tantra, the Sutra, what was the third one? Just two. So uh, uh, three kindness refers to the tantra. Three kindness refers to the sutra. Oh, three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then also, it says it's like a three kindness sutra and tantra. Sometimes lama are describing as well as like a lama change your mind to like a more like a change your life that you can consider it as a root lama even. Uh, not receive all these things. Yeah. I said it. So I, I was reading something the other day, I forget where, but it says once you achieve the two the accumulation of the two virtues and the getting rid of the two of, of subscription and achieve two holy body. What? Achieving two holy body. That's usually we all do prayer at the end of our Lamrim prayer. We always do this prayer. That's your question. So the two, the two, the two virtues. What are the two virtues, and what are the two obligations? Like you already do, you so no me shit so so. You so no me shit. You mean tambo? You tibo ni jang lai chou la. You tibo ni lai de da. Ani so ni lai de da de sa. Tan so ni shi de so no me dai shi so so. You mean so no me so so de da. Ah, so so much chibi. Ani jiao kan ni ba so no me so. 
Hani yeşil bir tozu zaten çoğu ülke gibi ülke var hani burada. Yeşil bir toz. Tabii ki ben niye seyredi? Vay böyle bir taşı koydum. Dün çocuğum ne? Bu da sonra mı tabii ki? Yeşil seyredi. Tüm bir çok yani. Sağ olay değil. Yeşil taşı seyredi. Bak çoğu olay değil. Sonra sabahdan çıba çoğu ağız. Hani bir olay kaldı. Bak değil. Bu da ne? Sonra da yeşil toz seyredi. Tiyo ne şey var? Bak. So two merit is the merit, just merit, and then uh, merit of wisdom. The merit consider that cause of whatever the virtue that uh, cause to you have that uh, Buddha's form body, that is just consider the merit, such as like a, a generosity practice, patient practice, morality practice, concentration practice. And then a merit of wisdom, which is a cause of the um, with us, um, the natural body. So, such as like uh, you are uh, the, the perfection of wisdom practice. So there's two, two um, the merits. And then the two obscuration is like uh, the obscure of mental affections and obscure of um, um, uh, knowledge. Actually, David, David Katie last time translated like a, Obscured or concept, concept obscuration, something, concept, something like that. it's anyhow, it's okay. So it's a uh, obscured of merit, and I mean, obscured of, uh, of mental affections, and uh, and then obscured of knowledge. Knowledge meaning what? Negative knowledge? Everything, every knowledge. Which is wisdom eliminating your ignorance, right? The ignorance is the negative part. Right? So obscured to knowing everything is ignorance. Eliminating ignorance and obscures ignorance and obscures of knowledge is sin. Yeah. Okay. Yes, she? Uh, yes, Janine? Uh yes. Yeah. So um I have a question about the offering. Um you mentioned the unexcelled offering. Something about the, your qualities take the form of uh, like the flowers. Is that what I understood, or I, I didn't oh, quite yeah. understand? The, what Gisela said is your virtues and merits are turned into the flower, and so on, so on. Yeah. So, I guess that's new to me. I'd not heard that. So it. it oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. No, that's very interesting. So, so you're saying, uh, are there different types of merit that are associated with the different types of offering or just all of them? Okay. I can maybe show you like that's also a gewada and so on the and the choosing one gun period. That gewada choose the gizon the choosing one gun period the choosing so so yeah gewa mindo mindo the son of mindo mindo shower son of chiggy young choose a chasm kind to chiggis. So you give what Actually, yeah, there's not different merit. Whatever you have a merit, you can transform into the flower. Whatever you have a merit, same merit, you can turn into the incense and uh, like a candle and also on and so on. So one thing you can do, you are collected all this merit and virtue, which is created by three times and many lifetimes. That's merit turned into the, all this um, the aspect of offerings. That's beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. Effie, Thank you. This is Dan. Hi, Dan. Um, if when you're visualizing the merit field, are, do you also uh, pull into the merit field, the, the refuge field? Do you dissolve that, dissolve the refuge field into the merit field? I, 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 did uh, I hear you talk about that? 
uh, refuge field and merit field. So this is depend on your practice. You do like a first refuge field, then after the merit field, or you do yeah, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Like if you want to share your work, like I'm doing, I'm doing the usual some doing set up, right? And the job, social number six and job set up the usual some doing social social work team role, right? Usual some doing social role, I'm going to set up here. I'm going to set up here. I'm set up here. I'm going to set up here. I'm going set up here. I'm going to set up here. I'm going to set up here. I'm going to set up here. Okay, so the first, uh, the, 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 like, uh, merit, uh, the field of refuge, uh, before you visualize that all this merit field, this three, the Buddha Dhamma Sangha is dissolving into you, not the dissolving into the merit field. It's dissolved directly, dissolved into you. Then after that, you can again visualize all this merit field with uh, all these Buddha deities and Bodhisattvas. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Keshula, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, when I was listening to Kensa Rinpoche um, talk about uh, the refuge field, he had simplified it into Shakyamuni uh, Buddha, and then it was the beings of the six realms, and any non-human beings were to be perceived as human. And then today we were getting such a very detailed uh, visualization. Um, uh, is it? Is there? Do you do you go with this more complex visualization, or is it okay to simplify it in the way that? Uh, Rinpoche had offered in that teaching that I'd heard. Uh, okay. So you said the Buddha Shakyamuni and then all these six. Um, uh, it, it, Kensu, yeah, Kensu Rinpoche said it was Buddha uh -huh. Shakyamuni and then it was all the beings of the six realms and any non human beings were to be perceived as human. And then today we got this really beautiful, very detailed thing. I also think in the long rim, the picture is in black and white. So if we could have the picture, if anyone has a picture of this uh, refuge field, as Geisha uh, mentioned it today, with a color photo, I think that would be helpful to us if we could have that. <coughs> Let's say, okay, I tried to answer for that because um, before, because I, part of I tried to understand clear your uh, question, okay? If so, then mm -hmm. you say yes. <clears throat> what Kinsley Rimbus might say, when you visualize merit field in front of you, all these Buddha and Bodhisattvas, and you mm -hmm. are asked uh, who are supplicating this whole merit field, who are requesting, who are doing prostration, and at the same time, all these six realms are surrounding to you, doing as same as like you, and then when you do that, then that's how the, all the six realms beings are just think as human form, not just animal and mm -hmm. animals, then it's, it's mm -hmm. part of that who are uh, rec like requesting and prostration to merit field. It's not says it's like a, uh, they are visualized with the merit field, right? So the mm -hmm. visualized merit field separately first, then after that, you are as the practitioner who visualize it, and then all the six realms beings are surrounding to you as a human being's form. Okay. This is, this is so, and I, can I just clarify? Can I clarify? Are we using the term refuge field and merit field to mean the same thing? Okay. Um, let me ask you, sure, okay? Then you do more on the two of the summer chamber when you didn't get any more on the case of your swag. That's another more on two of summer shop. Two of Hadrana. Come to Shing the down, Shing the Kabukunjus Mujibutan, the little so shiny for the year. Chick was some good, correct. Okay. Tell me that the 
Okay, what different is, so uh, in seven limb practice, uh, no, no, six preliminary practice, the first you will cleanse your room, meditation room, and second, arranging all these uh, uh, foldless offering things, right? And then third, mm -hmm. what is said it here, um, sit on the comfortable seat while maintaining the seven uh, Varichana attribute of the posture, and then with the mind of extraordinary virtue, take refuge, generate enlightenment mind. It says before you visualize the matter field, the take refuge, once you take refuge, and also you have to visualize like a Buddha Dhamma Sangha in front of you, that's the, mm -hmm. only the Buddha Dhamma Sangha is there. And this is uh, the, the, the less detail, only Buddha Dhamma Sangha is there. And also mm -hmm. reason is to say like a, you are uh, taking refuge before with the, uh, the refuge field, um, that um, like a, it's a, a, what called the making like a basis of all this um, the practice in like, the uh, mm -hmm. correcting your mind with the enlightenment mind and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that you are making basis. Uh, mm -hmm. Then after that, you are visualizing all this merit field with the loud oh, okay. fields, right? And then okay. um, in generally, the merit fields is combined into jewels. The, uh, the Buddha Dhamma Sangha and then Buddha Dhamma Sangha also it not really it has a little bit the de more detail and less detail but it, naturally they both are same but uh, the visualizing merit field that you goes with the, all these details or at least that five lamas right and then mm -hmm. uh, the four accumulating merit and so on so on the beginning mm -hmm. one is you making basis the second okay. one is uh, making yes making that's basis. very that's very helpful I, I will say the Lamrim has a, uh, it just has a drawing. Mm -hmm. So if we could get a, a colorful picture, I, I mean, I know that might be um, not possible, but I really love when we get a more colorful picture with all the colors. I don't know, Chappelle, maybe I'll talk to you about that at another time, but um, thank you, Geisha, and thank you, Geishala. Okay. Actually, that Pabunga, uh, the leave of uh, hand, no, it has a limb center. It in the center, they have a uh, color photos there. In the okay. middle, uh, middle of that the first volume, the first one, well, not the big one. The big one is black and white, right? Which is at the end of the book. But in the middle, with the page, is you cannot separate that page. It's photo there. With uh, and also you can Google it. Yeah. You will find the many. Uh, can you also put this something in the chat? I okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kesala, it's on. It's on uh, day four in Art's book. I'm not sure what it's okay. on in the other book. Okay, yeah. Thank you. It's page one, it's after page 144. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I have, question? Yeah, I have a quick question. And the supplication prayer in the Lamb Room book is much shorter than what we went through where you list all the lineage, lineage llamas. Yes. Uh, if we don't have a lot of time, can we just do the one in the Lamb Room book? Yeah, it's depend on time. You can do it, switch, yeah. Okay, thank based you. On your time, based on your time, okay. 
Oh, oh yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. So I, I want to know if I understand this correctly. When I dedicate all my virtue, um, dedicate my merit along with everyone else, uh -huh. my merit increases. Uh, along with everyone else? Yeah, with uh, everybody else's, uh, you you are rejoicing with everybody else. Oh, rejoicing, yes. okay. Yeah. Not the but dedicating. Then, then my merit increases as well. It increases. Rejoices, greater. yeah, yeah. So I want, I want to know why it increases. Is it because in my mind, mm -hmm. I am less jealous and less mm -hmm. self-centered? Mm -hmm. Because okay. we're all different. We all have our own karma. I can't really, right? So yeah. is it because of that, that my merit increases because it goes, my okay. jealousy goes down? And, yeah, I understand. Gavala Jesu Yunan Chiwe Kabli Ya. That's Shengi Gavala Jesu Yunan Chine Susi Gyao Kumbel Tukure Slarwa. That's Shengi Gavala Jesu Yunan Chine Yunan Yule Gyao Kumbel Tukure Slarwa. And Kumzen Di Tan Susu Yungi Chato Nyo Shimbe Wong Gire Tan Yan Time Be Kumzen Khanis Te Khanis Susu Gyao Shengi Gyao Di Tan Susu Tewa Mea Sam Tango Susu Yungi. Shengi Gyao Di Susu Nea Yama Rwa. And Shengi Gyao Jesu Yunan Chine Wote Ne Susu Gyao Di Khanis さあ、だ、コンプレジュレーション。あれ、だ、で、しげきは、たっちゅうのちなんで、めばしょうです。けわな、は、しげきな、ちばたまちのちばたまでやぶちゅうじゃ、さんたち、かのんじゅうてごわ